to the shop. I'm Fred. So today uh, we got that shaft for our uh, tube notching machine. Uh, we did some uh, work on the lathe there uh, a couple days ago, and now I've got. I had to set up uh, my uh, my uh, rotary table on the uh, mill and kind of uh, rig it up with a V block in the vise so I could uh, cut the flats uh, for the uh, for the uh, this 5 8 drill chuck. So uh, we're going to uh, get to the mill and start that. I'm just going to start up the phase converter and uh, we're going to start milling those flats. All right, hang in there. Okay guys, I've got you over by the mill. We're just going to uh, cut some flats here, rotate it uh, uh, every 60 degrees. We're going to put the six sides on it. So that's uh, 60, 120, 180, 240, and back to 360. Or back to 300, pardon me. So, all right, let's get on with it. I'm just going to take some light cuts because I got it just held in with uh, this uh, clamp on the V block. So we got the little V-block here, we got some shims underneath here, so it's the same height from this point here to where the uh, table is. Um, I didn't have a, uh, one of those big collet uh, holders to slide to. This is, uh, this bar is uh, an inch and a quarter, so, or inch and an eighth, 
So uh, yeah, I didn't have a uh, even a uh, what do you call it uh, uh, a big enough collet to hold this bar. So I got just in a small vise, four inch vise on a on a little uh, indexing table here. So and that's it. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is when I get close to size, I'll bring you back. It's just a lot of cutting back and forth. So, And I got this new uh, new uh, cutting head here. has the round inserts. does a really nice job cleaning up. So, so uh, I'm going to use that. Uh, maybe get a, one a little bit bigger. So uh, this works great on steel. The square ones work great on aluminum, so I'm going to stick with this type of head here for doing uh, uh, surface milling on uh, steel. All right, guys, you hang in there. I'll bring you back when we're getting close to size. Okay, guys, we're on our final cuts here. good I'd have to go down a little bit further than 5 8 uh, because the uh, drill at work is only a half inch. So we're going to take her down a half inch.
so that's a half inch, half inch eight. So I'm good with that. I'm just going to clean it off now, uh, deburr it, and uh, that project is done. All right, guys. Okay, guys, we're back. So uh, that's half inch there. Just cleaned up around the radius here a little bit. Take all the rough edges off. Yeah, I guess that very small job. So this this will have the uh, the mandrel or not the mandrel the uh, arbor on the end here. The chuck will be on the top of that there. I'm going to put a little weld, a little fusion weld or bead around there, and uh, yeah, then we can we're good to go. So yeah, that's the little project uh, for today. All right, you guys hang in there. Hey guys, we're back. So yeah, this uh, shaft is uh, done for the uh, the tube notching uh, um, machine, I guess, or uh, was it uh, tube notching device? Uh, have it work, so that'll work out good for us when we're doing some uh, tubular welding and building some uh, small tubular frames that work for uh, motors and doing whatever we have to do so uh, yeah that's it so um, I'd like to say thanks to all my subscribers thanks to all my new subscribers you guys have a great day be safe and if you like the video give me a thumbs up thumbs down leave, leave comments all right you guys have a great day bye